Okay, so this lesson is going to be pretty quick. Uh, you have learned both of the things that you need to be able to do this lesson. We're just putting two different um, skills together. So the first thing we're going to talk about is um, graphing systems. Remember, systems is when you have two equations uh, at the same time. So remember, on a graph, when we do that, we have three different options. So on a graph, we either have one solution where they cross in one place, or we could have um, no solution where they're not going to cross at all, or we could have infinite solutions where the two lines are directly on top of each other. Um, you all are pretty good at knowing all of that. The other piece of information that we need to remember uh, here is linear inequalities. When we're graphing inequalities, that's where we do um, like our solid or dashed, and then we're either going to shade above or below. So a quick um, just little thing for you to put in your notes, maybe draw yourself just a quick little sketch, a quick, quick little graph. Today we're going to have two inequalities. So we may have one that's dashed and we shade below. We may have another one that is going to be solid and um, let's say we shade above. The solution here, the final answer, is going to be the portion where these two overlap. So all of this is just the work, and the actual solution is kind of this little um, corner where these two graphs are overlapping. So um, what I would do is maybe just give a rough sketch of this for your notes and show yourself that this is where you find the solution. Uh, and there are infinite solutions you can pick in there, but this is the solution area. Also, um, points that are on this line, on the line, are solutions if the line is solid. So any point that's on the line is a solution. Points on this dashed line are not solutions because they're on the dashed line, so they're not included. Um, so you need to know those things before we move forward. And we're going to do two examples. All right, so here in our first example, I'm going to recopy my equation, 3x plus y less than or equal to 1. Um, you should always ask yourself in standard form if it's easiest to do cover-up method or if we need to solve this for y. If I do cover-up, my first equation is 3x is less than or equal to, or I can even just write it as an equation, equal to 1. The problem is that's going to give me a fraction, and I don't like that because I'm going to have to divide by 3 I don't want to do a fraction. So instead of doing that, uh, I'm going to solve this equation for y. So I'm going to subtract 3x so that I can move it to the other side. So now my equation is going to say y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 1. Um, the things I want to note before I start graphing, this is going to be solid. And because it is less than, it is going to be below. So I'm going to start at positive 1. This is a slope of negative 3 over 1, so down 3 over 1. Do make sure you go as far with the pattern as you can on these. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my shading done solid. And I want to shade below, which is on this side. Okay, um, I'm going to switch colors now. I'm going to do my second equation. And that equation, I'll, I'll just make the note up here, that is going to be dashed and above because it's greater. So start at negative 2. We're going to do dashed, or I'm sorry, rise 2, run 3, down to backwards 3. That's as many points as I can fit. I want this one to be dashed. And we want to shade um, above here. So tomorrow uh, in class, we'll use colored pencils to kind of see this area a little bit uh, more easily. But you should see that your solution area is this kind of section in this corner where everything is overlapping. One thing that you do need to be able to do is name two things, two points that are solutions and two that are not. So, um, whoa. So we, we want to name two solutions, 
and two solutions would just be two points that are in that area. So an example might be, um, let's see, zero, zero. All right, right here in the middle, zero, zero, that is a solution because it's in my gray shaded area. Also, uh, I'll pick a point, let's see, this point right here, because it's on the solid line, it is a solution. So negative one, four is a solution. Uh, and then they're going to want us to name two things that are not solutions, just so you get in the habit of seeing things that don't work. So something that is not a solution would be, um, let's see, 1, 1 right here. It's in one of the shaded areas, but not both, so it is not a solution. So 1, 1. Also, any of my points that are on my dashed line don't work either. So this point back here um, that's at negative 3, negative 4, it is not a solution either because it's on the dashed line, which is not included. All right, make sure you picked up on all the parts of that example. Okay, so the second and last example um, are when we talk about parallel lines. Now, you're used to parallel lines um, always having no solution. But when we talk about shading and inequalities, it may or may not have no solution. So we just have to see what it looks like. All right, in example A here, one of my lines has been shaded below. The other one has been shaded above. And because, because those two sections are not overlapping anywhere, there is no solution because there's no place that you're shading both lines. So this would be an example of no solution. You may want to do just a real quick rough sketch of that in your graph. Now the second one, B, let's see, I'll graph that for us real quick. We want to start at negative 2. We're going to do dashed and above. All right, so this is just a rough sketch. All right, so there's my first line. And then my second line is going to be at positive 4 going to be solid and this time we're going to go below so that's a little hard to see with the colors that I chose but let me um, shade in for you on this one um, there is oh there is a shared area um, and that's this kind of like section in the middle all right so this section in the middle is where the solution is because even though these lines are parallel the shading areas do overlap. So this does have a solution, and it's the section between um, the parallel lines. So make sure that you understand parallel does not always mean no solution if you have inequalities and shading. And that's all I've got for you. We'll work on this tomorrow.